Welcome to my channel. My next project is going to be a plate rack. I've uh, printed some off the internet, some pictures, just to get some ideas. And um, I have this uh, doll toy shelf. Now it's probably sacrilege if I alter it, but I was toying with the idea of putting a base on it um, with, with a backing as well, and then the little plates could fit in there. Obviously I'd have to put some doweling um, in there as well. And I was thinking of um, using toothpicks as the little doweling poles. Anyway, that was a thought, but I don't know, perhaps it's sacrilege to alter it. I don't know. Or I could use it as a template to make one either out of cardboard, again, or out of popsicle sticks. So that is that. These are my thoughts so far. So watch this space, and we'll see what I decide to do. Okay, I've decided I just can't bring myself to alter this at the moment because it is an original. Although I may end up resorting to it, I'm not sure yet. But I've what I have done is I've used it as a template, and I've cut out my pieces which I will glue together. So I've done the sides. The top smaller the middle shelf and then what will be a bottom shelf i don't have any toothpicks which i think will probably be the ideal size i do have these skewer sticks um, but i think they're probably going to be a bit too thick so i will i've actually got church this morning um, so after church i'll pop into the supermarket and see if they've got um, toothpicks that I can get because I do have to go to the supermarket to get some milk for my son so yeah I will um, glue these together I'm not going to show you the whole process because of my issue with videos that are too long but uh, you've seen me glue them before I, I will glue you know them together it's quite simple really so yeah I will show you when I get on to the next stage right my pieces are glued together I'm just going to sand the edges with my uh, emery, emery board just to make sure they're all even. I'll go around the rough side, um, go around the sides first with the rough, the rough one, and then I'll go around with the, the uh, smoother one. And uh, I'm going to do all of these just like this. I've managed to get some cocktail sticks, which I'm going to use as the upright little posts got to work out how to get holes into here um, I'm not sure whether to try drilling them or to yeah I think that's probably what I'm going to have to do I don't think an awl will poke through it because it's quite solid now so I'll sand all these and then I'll get back to you right with my highly te technical piece of um, wood to drill on I've marked out the spaces and where the centre is and then the spaces on either side and a line for where I'm going to drill the holes for the posts and we're going to attempt to do that. I'm not going to do it on video um, because it will probably be a disaster. But anyway, we'll see how it goes and I'll let you know. Now my intention was to drill the holes with a 1mm drill bit and then drill through them with a 1.5mm but it seems I don't have a 1.5mm. I probably broke it trying to put um, no, uh, holes in our wall. So I'm going to have to try and widen them with my drill. So we'll see how we get with the 1mm one, one, one. So we'll see how we get on. Now hopefully I will be able to, yeah, I'll be able to get the cocktail sticks in and then I will cut them, I will glue them, then I will cut the ends off once they're in. And hopefully that will work. I just need to do the same with the top bracket now. Right, I've come to a bit of a stumbling block because what I didn't account for was the fact I was going to make the shelf slightly smaller. And I've obviously got to allow just enough room for the cocktail sticks to go in for the upright. Hopefully I can do it, otherwise I'll have to make another shelf this size. But I wanted it to step in slightly. So I'm going to see if that will work, and if not, then I'll have to make another shelf. Okay, now I'm going to hopefully 
stick my cocktail sticks in and we're going to assemble this shelf. Okay, I'll come back. Right, so I've cut my little pieces to size and then they're going to slot into each, each section of this like that and I will glue them in as I do it. So I will come back in a minute and show you that done. Right, I have that in place and then the plate should hopefully rest in like that. Uh, like that. So, yep. Hopefully that is going to work. So now I've got to stick the sides on and that will hopefully lend it some stability. And yeah, we'll see how we get on. So you may not be able to see it, let's just have a look. It's a right little balancing act. Yep, so I've got it glued, the first part of it glued together and uh, I probably should have put the other um, board on but I want to check it for size four cups on that second shelf. So yeah, got to leave it now to dry. Right, so I realised I forgot to video some of the steps but this was the original. And it's a doll toy uh, little shelf. And then this is what I've made using part of it as a template. Um, there's a few things I would do differently next time. One is I should have painted the pieces first before I stuck them together. But it, I don't know, it gives it a bit of a rustic look, which is, I guess, what I'm going for. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't suit, then I can always make another one. Now I know how to make it. But it's, it's, it's nice and solid. And uh, the plates fit in nicely. And then I've got little rooms for cups or jugs. Uh, like that. So yeah, I'm actually really pleased with how it turned out. I just wish I'd painted it before I started. And as I say, I'm, I'm not sure. I may end up making another one. I'm hoping it will go in the kitchen. Um, but if not, I will just have to make another one. And then what I thought I would do, I thought I would start documenting um, how I make things and the dates I make them. So I've uh, got some pictures that I printed off the internet for inspiration. Then I've got the two originals and then a picture of my finished product. So yeah, the main thing I learned through this process was to paint before you stick together. Uh, I probably wouldn't have painted the dowels if I had painted it painted it first. Um, but hey ho, that's that's the way I did it, and that's the way it's turned out. We might have a quick look, see where I'm going to put it in the doll's house. So I think what I'm probably going to do, it's probably going to go on the wall like that, and then the plates will go inside it. But at this stage, oops, sorry. Trying to hold and film with one hand is not easy. So yeah, it's going to go on the wall like that. And uh, hopefully that will look good. I'm just waiting on a few more bits of kitchen furniture to arrive. And, and then hopefully I can get it on the wall. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little video of me making this um, plate shelf i'm quite pleased with it as i say there's a few things i'd do differently and um i'll remember that for next time my next project is going to be probably another unit for the kitchen um not sure if it'd be a wall shelf or a standing shelf yet but i will leave you with that anyway thanks so much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already and feel free to leave a comment catch you another time and have a great day bye and this is what happens when a puppy gets hold of your rubber or a razor, depending on what country you're in. Yes, it's been rather mutilated, but it still works, so hey-ho. And I will show you those said naughty little puppies. There they are. There they are. Little monkeys. Yeah, little monkeys, aren't you? Yes, you are, you little monkeys.